mainly it's about uh, my uncle. These three are brothers. Uh, they came from Akuto, Italy. Uh, two of them, my grandfather and my great uncle, uh, settled in Milton. The other one, Paul, went to uh, South America, settled in Brazil. But uh, my uncle, Santo, is who I was speaking about today. They came here in the early 1900s and uh, wanted to become citizens, which they both did. Uh, Santo um, never married, and so in 1917, when uh, the U.S. was entering the Great War, uh, he enlisted and uh, wanted to serve as an immigrant uh, coming to this country, loved this country. And I just think it's so significant because they found no um, history in Milton of commemorating their first hundred years, which would have been in 1917, probably because they were going into the First World War, which was the Great War. Never thought there would be a second one. But anyway, he loved the country. They both would have entered, but he was married and starting to have children. My grandfather, which would have been my father, uh, uh, was born in 1917. So anyway, Santo, he got injured, uh, shrapnel in the posterior, and then uh, not only did they commemorate uh, with a certificate like this for every death, but also those wounded in the First World War, um, the commendations like this was given to each one, and this one is get, uh, signed by Woodrow Wilson. Um, they seem to be personally signed by him because uh, the signature goes down into the um, the white uh, part of the of the framing. But anyway, uh, and then this is uh, the flag that draped his uh, coffin and the commendations that he got during his service short service in the war, and uh, his uh, dog tags, very simple. Dog tags, name on one side, number on the other. But it's just, uh, I wanted to commemorate the, my ancestors uh, during this time in, that we're celebrating Milton's 200th. Milton is altogether celebrating, but it seems like in our nation, we're a very divided nation you know, talking about immigration and do we want these people, don't we want these people? And back then, there was no saying no. We accepted them all. They had problems in their own ghettos and that stuff, but they were all hung together. And one thing they did want is they loved this country.